Hello everyone. My name is Gaurav Agrawal and today we are going to learn about VPCs, Virtual Private Cloud. If you have still not subscribed to the channel, then please subscribe the same. I have already created multiple videos on eight on real world AWS projects and will be creating more such videos. When we are talking about a VPC, we are talking about a isolated network. In this isolated network, we can create our own machines. If you want this network or the VPC to connect to the internet, then we need to attach a internet gateway to this VPC. This VPC is broken down into smaller networks called as subnets or subnetworks. In these subnetworks, you will create your EC2 machines or your servers. If you want that your machines should be able to connect to the outside world, then you need to create a route from your subnet to the internet gateway. If you create such routes in your subnet, then we call this subnet as a public subnet. In a public subnet, the EC2 instances have both inbound and outbound connectivity. If a subnet doesn't have a route to the internet gateway, then we call it as a private subnet and there is no inbound and outbound access to these EC2 instances. One more point to notice that these subnets can communicate with each other. Meaning a EC2 instance present in a public or a private subnet can talk to other EC2 instances within the same VPC. With this basic understanding, let's understand what is the problem with a private subnet. The first problem is that how can you SSH into these private instances? Since the subnet doesn't have any internet connectivity, then you cannot SSH into these instances. The other problem is these instances cannot connect to the outside world. So then how do we allow outbound connections? So for the first problem of SSH, we need to create a bastion host or a jump box. For allowing outbound connections, we need to use either a NAT instance or a NAT gateway. In this video, we are mostly going to talk about bastion host. We will understand what is a bastion host. If we follow the same diagram of a VPC with a public and a private subnet, then we let's say we have created multiple EC2 instances in a private subnet and we cannot directly connect to these instances. But we can create a machine, a EC2 instance in a public subnet. This machine or this EC2 instance is called as a bastion host. Now, I will first SSH into the bastion host because it is publicly accessible. And once I have connected to this machine, from this machine, I can do a SSH into these EC2 instances. This is kind of a jump in process where you are jumping from one machine to another machine. So these bastion hosts are also called as jump boxes. So the whole intent of creating the private subnet is to increase the security of our machines. If a machine is not accessible from the external world, then hackers or mal malicious actors cannot directly connect into these machines, thereby 
reducing the attack area now we are going to do a demo of this exercise we are going to create a private and a public subnet we will create a instance in a private subnet and we will also create a bastion host and then we will see the steps of assessing of doing a ssh from a bastion host into these private ec2 instances if you don't want to do a hands on then also i will strongly recommend that you follow the video till the end to understand the process now log in to your aws account and in the search bar type vpc and click on the vpc link you will see a page like this where you will see a list of vpcs now by default there is one vpc created by aws we want to create a new vpc and here we will select this option vpc and more this option provides a very simpler way of creating vpc with public and private subnet we will give it a name test vpc and we will have to specify how many availability zones we want to use i will say one and how many public and private subnets you want i will select one public and one private subnet if you look at this particular diagram it will show you the same thing one vpc with one public one private subnet a routing table and network connection so let's go ahead and create this vpc created a vpc created a subnet created a internet gateway attach that interway internet gateway to the vpc our vpc got created remember the name of the vpc the vpc name is test vpc hyphen vpc now in the search bar type ec2 and open it in a new tab in the new tab we are going to create new ec2 instances let's click on the launch instance button we will first create a public ec2 instance i will give it a name public then keep the default options and we are going to specify a new key pair click on the create new key pair and give it a name ec2 key hyphen 1 remember to give it remember to select the pem option dot pem and create a key pair also remember the name that you have given when you click on the create key pair then a key will be downloaded on your machine we will need this file okay once this is done we will go to the network settings and click on the edit button by default the default vpc is selected we will change it and use our vpc with the name of test vpc select that option and we want to use the public subnet so i will select this option and let's assign a ip address enable this and it will create a security group with ssh port open let's launch this instance now we are going to create one more ec2 instance in the private subnet go back to the instance link and click on launch instance we will keep most of the options as the same but give it a name as private and select the same key pair that we have used that we have created 
my key pair was EC2 key 1. In the network settings, click on edit. Change your VPC to your test VPC. And now remember to select the private subnet. Enable public IP here also. And let's launch this instance. Now, we have created these two instances. Go back to your instance tab. And let's first try to see whether we are able to access the public EC2 instance. I will select this option and click on connect. We will use the EC2 instance connect and let's try to connect to this EC2 instance. The expectation here is since this EC2 is in a public subnet, we should be able to SSH into this instance. Let's give it some time and go back to our previous tab, cancel this and try to use the private EC2 instance and try and see are we able to SSH into this instance. The expectation with the private instance is that SSH is not going to work. Let me go to my public yeah, so we are getting this error that failed to connect to your instance. This is because it is in a private subnet. I will close this tab now. And let's go to the tab where my public EC2 instance is present. I am able to SSH into this instance. Now, I will use this public EC2 instance as a bastion host to connect to my private EC2 instances. For that, I will need few things. I will need to know, I will need to copy my key file into this machine. The key file was downloaded in your download folders. Go to the download folder, open that file in notepad and copy the contents of that file. You will not be able to see my screen, but I will, I am trying to open that file and copying the contents. I have copied the contents and I will paste it here just for your reference. So it will be something like this. Okay. Copy this entire thing and go to your SSH tab, type VI and say ec2 hyphen key dot p e m pem and press enter now press the i button to go into the insert mode and paste your content after that press escape and type colon and w q and press enter. We have saved this file. Now we need to change the permissions of this file. Otherwise SSH will give you an error. So we will do a change mod 400 and name of the file. We have now created the PEM file. Now let's try to do a SSH. Let's say SSH minus I the name of the PEM file, then space EC2 hyphen user is the name of the user at the rate the IP address of your private EC2 instance. To get the IP address, go to the previous tab, click on instances, select your private EC2 instance and copy the private IP address. Go back to your SSH window and paste that IP address. Now press enter. Let's say yes. And you should be able to SSH into your machine with this IP address.
if you do a if config command here then you will see that the ip address is the same one so we have successfully ssh into our machine now we have verified that our bastion host is able to connect to the machine we will close our tabs and we are going to do the cleanup we will select both of our public and private ec2 instance and we are going to terminate these instances the next step will be to go into your vpc section select your vpc which is test vpc and then go and delete the vpc this will ensure that all of your existing public and private subnet along with the security groups will be terminated if you get a error like unable to delete it might be because your instances have not reached into the shutting down state so cancel it and try one more time and hopefully you should be able to delete your vpc type delete over here and delete the vpc so i think that's all for this video again if you have not subscribed then go ahead and subscribe to the channel and like this video thanks for watching have a